Okay, so uh, this is actually a continuation video of my previous video in which I summed up two numbers um, using a function and the return type of the function was void as you can see uh, on the screen. Um, so this was the question and now I'll do it in a different manner using pointers and this is for the nerds who know what a pointer is like they have a knowledge about pointers in C programming language. So without wasting time, I will just create a new file like add 2.c and write down the usual hash include stdio.h like this and now we will be just uh, declaring the um, uh, main method first like uh, not capital and of course i'm really sorry for my bad typing void main and uh, let's uh, ask the user to input the two numbers like this enter the two numbers this so now we're going to write scanf since we are taking two numbers as input we will write like person d person d like this uh, comma ampersand a and uh, ampersand b so these will be the two numbers int a comma b like this and now we will be calling in our add function where we will be passing the address of the two variables that is ampersand a and ampersand b like this so now you guys will be just screaming uh, screaming about like saying hey where is this add function so let me first declare the add function and uh, as usual the return type will be void uh, void add and instead of writing just the name of the variable we will be uh, i mean uh, passing like integer pointers over here in star a in star b okay. so now we will be like uh, Okay, we will have to pass another parameter which will actually store the sum so ampersand s which stands for sum so we will declare sum equals zero maybe and we will be passing the address of s over here and uh we will write like star let's say s so i have passed the pointer variables over here and now we will be just doing simple addition like star s equals star a plus star b so it's done actually actually it will work and now let me just uh, write a uh, print statement like the sum is person d and uh, the sum is stored in this variable called s so i'll write comma s so i'll end the statement using a semicolon i'll just save the entire program because the last time i forgot to save and i'll show you guys output because the previous time i just forgot to show the output so for cls let's let's try gcc add 2.c uh, i don't know why it's taking uh, so much time <laughs> a.exe let's go let's enter the two numbers like let's input three and six so as you can see that's printing the sum is 9 okay i'll explain it a little later but first let me show you if the output is coming correctly or not let's uh, do it again like uh, let's say a big number uh, like 12 and uh, 20 so it's coming 32 the summation of 12 and 20 is 32 as we all know so it's working perfectly so now let me explain you the logic okay so in order to explain this thing uh, like you guys will have to have a knowledge about pointers in c programming language uh since uh this star pt uh star a refers to like the pointer variable like uh in this uh, th this is this is actually called call by reference uh i think i hadn't mentioned it in my last video but uh the technique that i used here was uh call by ref uh, call by value sorry call by value and this one and this technique over here is known as call by reference that is passing the address of variables as parameters to a function All right this is the add function so we have declared the function to be void as per the question and uh, we have passed the pointer variables over here in star a in star b and in star s i i always try to keep the variable names same as in the main method it won't affect anything but it will actually uh, help in like understanding what the variable does and so on so it will just uh do star s equals star a plus b and the value and the summation will be stored in the 
I mean the memory of this sum variable like we are actually dealing with address over here so this this is actually a basic of pointer operation so uh, if you guys don't know what are pointers in C programming language then you won't be able to just uh, sum the two numbers using this technique you should refer to this technique uh, where it's actually quite simple it's quite straightforward and this is actually not complicated but it involves the uh, use of pointers so you need to know pointers before just uh, using this technique in order to find the sum of two numbers using a function and the return type of the function will be void so that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video bye